saying stupid shit isn't limited to just some theists. Uh, tends to, you know, atheists do it too. And um, one of those stupid, one of that stupid shit that I personally don't like is this following one here. It's no secret that Einstein was an atheist. I mean, you know, as great as that would be, uh, the greatest mind of the 20th century being an atheist, um, it just, it's not true. Um, of course, atheists who make this claim use numerous quotes of Einstein disparaging religion and ranting about theists who try to make him out to be a devoutly religious person. They love to use quotes like the following. The word God for me is nothing more than the expression and product of human weaknesses, the Bible a collection of honorable but still primitive legends which are nevertheless pretty childish. No interpretation, no matter how subtle, can, for me, change this. It was, of course, a lie that you read about my religious convictions, a lie which is being systematically repeated. I do not believe in a personal God, and I have never denied this, but have expressed it clearly. If something is in me which can be called religious, then it is the unbounded admiration for the structure of the world, so far as our science can reveal it. During the youthful period of mankind's spiritual evolution, human fantasy created gods in man's own image who, by the operations of their will, were supposed to determine, or at any rate influence, the phenomenal world. And, of course, the favorite clincher. I received your letter of June 10th. I have never talked to a Jesuit priest in my life, and I am astonished by the audacity to tell such lies about me. From the viewpoint of a Jesuit priest, I am, of course, and have always been, an atheist. However, what they tend to ignore are things Einstein said about the crusading atheist, such as, The bigotry of the non-believer is for me nearly as funny as the bigotry of the believer. I have repeatedly said that, in my opinion, the idea of a personal god is a childlike one. You may call me an agnostic, but I do not share the crusading spirit of the professional atheist, whose fervor is mostly due to a painful act of liberation from the fetters of religious indoctrination received in youth. I prefer an attitude of humility corresponding to the weakness of our intellectual understanding of nature and of our own being. And, of course, his most damning proclamation against atheists. In view of such harmony in the cosmos which I, with my limited human mind, am able to recognize, there are yet people who say there is no God. But what really makes me angry is that they quote me for the support of such views. So what was Einstein? Well, he certainly was not a theist, but it's he definitely wasn't an atheist either. Um, I'll let Einstein take it from here. I believe in Spinoza's God, who reveals himself in the orderly harmony of what exists, not in the God who concerns himself with the fates and actions of human beings. Spinoza's God is an interesting God. Uh, Benedict de Spinoza, or Baruch Spinoza, was born in 1632 to a Portuguese Jewish family. Today, he is considered to have laid the groundwork both for the 18th century Enlightenment and for modern-day biblical criticism. Um, what did he believe in about God? Well, I'll take a quote directly from his Wikipedia article. Spinoza believed God exists only philosophically and that God was abstract and impersonal. He contended that everything that exists in nature, i.e. everything in the universe, is one reality, substance, and there is only one set of rules governing the whole of the reality which surround us and of which we are a part. Spinoza viewed God and nature as two names for the same reality, namely the single substance, meaning that which stands beneath rather than matter, that is the basis of the universe and of which all lesser entities are actually modes or modifications, that all things are determined by nature to exist and cause effects, and that the complex chain of cause and effect is only understood in part. So, his view that God is abstract and impersonal made him a deist. His view that God and nature were one made him a pantheist. Einstein shared these views about God, so one would be tempted to call him a deistic pantheist, although Einstein himself did say, I'm not an atheist, and I don't think I can call myself a pantheist. So, what was Einstein? Why does it matter? What is so important 
that we must have Einstein agree with our personal opinions about the relationship of science and religion. Who cares? Einstein was not just a genius, but he was a the genius. He is the genius to which all other geniuses are compared. He gave us relativity e equals mc squared. What he did for physics and for science are unmatched to this day. Who cares what he thinks? Who cares what his beliefs are or if he had any? They're not important to anything. It wouldn't matter to Einstein's work if he was an atheist or a Lubavitch Jew. It wouldn't make a difference. And it doesn't matter now. If we absolutely must have scientists who agree or disagree with our personal opinions on the relationship between science and religion. Can we stick to scientists who are alive and can answer for themselves? And can we stop twisting the words of dead scientists to fit our viewpoint? It doesn't matter. So stop talking about it.